Hey, what's up everyone? It's Darkwing Dad. Today I'm gonna be showing you a quick and easy DIY holster that'll hold your lightsaber, gun, or any weapon of choice at your next cosplay event. It's in today's video, so come check it out. All right, what's up everyone? Back at it again. It is DW Darkwing Dad bringing you another cosplay tutorial based off my latest build, my Star-Lord Blaster. So of course, recently had Pensacon 2022 and I was putting my cosplay together and I'm like, how am I going to hold these things? Obviously in Guardians of the Galaxy, Star-Lord has these like leather hip things and there was just no way that was getting made the night before or anything like that. I had to come up with a way to hold these basically on my hips and I think what I came up with was pretty awesome. It's a nice little holster that really will hold I don't want to say any gun, but you can modify it to hold different guns. I thought it could hold, you know, knives or maybe a lightsaber or something like that. So it's really just applicable to many different types of weapons that you might have in your cosplay. This one was pretty simple for the Star-Lord one, so I think this one will work great for really any sort of gun. Uh, but I do show a little bit in this video on how it could be applied to a lightsaber and how you could use that. So what I'm going to do is get into how to make these, show you all the materials. The quick install, give you a demonstration of how they worked on my Star-Lord cosplay, and then give you my final thoughts. So let's go. All right, so making the holsters, there's just a couple things that you need for these DIY holsters. Uh, first thing you're going to need is some nylon strapping. Uh, it's kind of the stuff your backpack was made out of, super durable, uh, can carry a, a good amount of weight, so definitely better than using elastic or something like that, so I definitely recommend this stuff. So some purse magnets, get a bag of those, and obviously a razor blade. Safety first, uh, make sure the blade is uh, sharp and fresh. We will need that to cut through the nylon strapping, uh, but basically just... Pick the length that you need, cut it, uh, whatever your desired length is here. This was a piece that was I cut a little bit too short, so it's going to be used for demonstration purposes. But um, just basically take your piece, and what you're going to want to do is make a couple cuts and a couple slits on the, each end of this. So these purse magnets have tabs that are going to slide through. So uh, grab your, for, your purse magnets. What you're going to need is the back fasteners. You'll need two of those. Uh, they just kind of reinforce the purse magnet to the fabric and then you're going to need a female end of the purse magnet and then you also need a male end uh, these have little tabs that kind of lock in and they're really sturdy when they you know kind of cling together so uh, male and a female uh, end on the purse magnets and then what you want to do is just make two slits in the straps here now just be careful uh, watch where your finger is that blade can just go shooting through uh, but just two small slits on each side one right there and then one on the other side here that was way easier on this side so uh, two slits and then the purse magnets have tabs on them so you want to slide the tabs on the purse magnet through the strap and they poke out the other end you can see there and then what you want to do is you want to grab that little metal reinforcer and that just kind of sandwiches in between the purse magnet and the fabric. Again, just a reinforcement. Uh, and again, no no gluing, no sewing. Uh, all you do then is just bend those tabs over. Good push so they're nice and tight. Right there, so now that's in place. And you can change the distance of the magnet. Um, it's very firm where it is there, but if you have something heavier and you wanna create more distance from the top of where the magnet is in the strap, but these are super durable, so where I have them is just fine. So uh, you can also just clean up the ends here. You can see how it's kind of frayed. Uh, just grab a lighter and just kind of melt those down. And again, that'll melt it and, and make it get a little bit more reinforcement. So like I said, these are really awesome, nice and sturdy. Now what we wanna do is kind of fold this over. So you don't wanna put the purse magnet in the same direction you want to have it opposite because you can see where i folded it over there um, it has to kind of you know snail over in a sense it's got to be the opposite direction if you did it facing each other it wouldn't work so you're going to do basically the same thing we're going to make two slits and we're going to put the other purse magnet facing the opposite direction so what i'm going to do here is just make two more slits real quick repeat the process and get it all set up all right so you can see here now just uh, same as before we're going to slide those tabs through we're going to take the metal reinforcer slide it through those tabs as well just kind of sandwich it in between that nylon strap bend those over there and like i said they they are, they are shockingly stiff so <laughs> just a real good push get it nice and tight and then we're going to take our lighter here clean up this end there's a whole bunch of trash on there so just kind of melt that down and that is nice and ready to go and then you can see here that the strap uh, just flips over and creates a nice little uh, holder uh, very durable very nice uh, perfect setup for what i needed it for 
Uh, here you can see these are all four that I made. Um, different lengths that you may need, but uh, like I said, overall, they work really easy. They just fold over, they clasp right together. Very durable, very strong, held a good amount of weight, held the blaster just perfectly. So it's pretty much really all there is to uh, to making the holster setup for the gun. So uh, what I'm going to do here is just kind of show you how they are applicable to another popular weapon and then show you how they worked on my Star Lord cosplay. All right, so I mentioned how this holster could be applicable to other weapons. Um, so I'm using Darkwing Z's lightsaber. I'm sorry, this is the only one that he has. Uh, something that would collapse and condense would be a little bit better but this is what we've got for now obviously you would need more purse magnets you would need about four um you would need a, definitely a longer piece so for cinematic purposes i guess you could say i'm going to combine two of these and kind of show you uh what i am thinking the lightsaber is gonna is gonna sit on your hip kind of you know facing down my thought would be to take the strapping and you would have it kind of loop around here and this would come on here and then you would put uh, one of the female purse magnets. So basically one of these would go right around in this area and it would loop on there tight. So you'd want it to kind of go over the top of it right here. And then this, this would be, this would be one piece. I'm just using this for, for demonstration. But this whole piece would then just kind of go up towards your belt loop or your belt or whatever you're wearing. And then you would have uh, obviously your one purse magnet here and then you'd have another one and it would just kind of loop on like that. So you would be left with this kind of apparatus, uh, so to speak, uh, that would hold everything in place. And I think the weight of the lightsaber, it should work. Again, you'd be using one solid piece, so you would just get a longer piece. And I think it would work great. Uh, you'd have one purse magnet here and kind of flop that over. It would attach here. This would go up to your belt, and then you would just kind of loop that around, and then loop that around your, your belt or whatever you're wearing. And I believe that the weight of it, um, you'd have to kind of do everything a little bit tight. It should hold it. So if you want to venture and try it out, let me know. That's the idea that I have. You know, these purse magnets are very strong. You know, they clamp on really strong, adhere really well. And when you use this nylon strapping, I mean, it just results in a very sturdy, very durable uh, piece, you know, holster that you can use for pretty much anything. So definitely think it'll work for the lightsaber. If you give it a shot, make sure to drop me a comment and let me know. But I think that would definitely work for the lightsaber. So if you're trying to use anything like a knife, a lightsaber, a different sort of gun, give that a shot, drop me a comment and let me know how it works. All right, so now I'm going to show you how these holsters work uh, with my Star-Lord belt. Obviously, I am not in full Star-Lord attire, but I look like a champion here with, <laughs> with this belt on. You don't necessarily need a belt. Like I said, you can put them through if you're wearing like jeans or pants with a belt loop, they can go on the belt loop. Um, typically, the Star-Lord uh, belt, um, he has the these pieces of leather that kind of come down. I didn't have that kind of time, so like I said, this was just a quick and easy uh, DIY uh, gun holster, but I think it worked really well. I'm just gonna kind of show you how they work with the uh, Star-Lord blasters here. On the Star-Lord blaster, when it sits like this, you need a longer one for the front and then a shorter one for here. Uh, so all I do is basically just take this and loop this under the belt, like so, and just kind of have it like that. And then I take the other one, and, and placement is very important. Um, you kind of want to have uh, this, coming up so when you take them off you're kind of pulling the magnet up towards you not down because down the gun could kind of fall so i find it better to have the top one here and kind of facing down it just makes it easier if you have to take it off so i will line this one up the same way so now i have both holsters kind of like this and again it's nice with a belt it kind of is resting on your hip or your waist and keeping them in place so then all you do is kind of take, like I said, your weapon of choice. Mine is the Star-Lord Blaster. And one just kind of loops through up here like this. And then the shorter one loops through. And what's nice is you can adjust these. So obviously these are metal and we don't want them to scrape on the gun. So what I did is once I got it in place, I just kind of adjusted these top pieces uh, closer to the, to the top to where they're not hitting the gun. Um, so they're just kind of hanging out there. But uh, you can see, let me take a step back here. You can kind of see that it works well. Um, it's not gonna it's not gonna come off. You can jump up and down or do whatever. 
uh, kind of right on the hip, right where you need it. So obviously I had the other one here, uh, but they work really great. Uh, obviously there was a couple people uh, at the event that I took pictures with and taking it off, like I said, it was really easy for me. You just kind of flip these up and grab the gun and you're good to go. And then when you want to reattach them, just kind of loop the one through, loop the other one through, nice and easy. And like I said, I think these would work with lightsabers, maybe knives, or I don't know, like if, if you're into Ninja Turtles, like the size and things like that, uh, they could work. It's all about finding the right loop uh, that works in the weapon and along the weight of the weapon to kind of keep it in place. If you use it for any sort of other gun or weapon of choice feel free to leave me a comment on this video and let me know uh, i walked around the whole time uh you know six seven hours at this event not once did they pop off that's pretty much it for this guys i'm going to give you my final thoughts on this video and wrap things up all right everyone well that's it that is today's video that is my diy guide for a holster whether it be for a gun or a lightsaber or anything else this uh, idea that i have can be applied to Many different weapons across the cosplay scene. I think it's something that can definitely be applied to many different things. So if you found good luck with it and it worked for you, please drop me a comment and let me know. If you like all things 3D printing, DIY, cosplay, Marvel, Disney, Star Wars, and all the fun things that we do on this channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Got a lot more fun videos in the future. I'm currently working on editing the last of my Star-Lord videos, both with the blasters, uh, the Sony Walkman, and obviously the helmet. Uh, but I do have some other things in the work right now, uh, including my Thanos helmet. Uh, I am working on a Moon Knight helmet and a couple other things. I don't want to spoil it and tell you guys everything, but I do have a lot of cool builds. But like I said, if you like this one, feel free to give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment and let me know what you think. Till the next video, that's it for now, guys. So let me know what you think. Like I said, drop me a comment, give me a thumbs up. And until then, DW out. Later.